Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, what we have right here is a 1997 Honda Accord. The issue with this Honda Accord is that it had an EVAP code. So what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the operations of the EVAP, and then we're going to use this oscilloscope, and we're going to fix it right up. So let's get right to it, and let's get this done. All right, so let's get right to this. Uh, this vehicle right here actually had a P1456 code. And basically the code was that it had a leak on the tank side. So uh, the cool thing about this system, most uh, EVAP systems, they have everything underneath the gas tank. This is basically all right here. So what we're gonna have we're gonna have, um, on most systems, you're gonna have the purge and the vent solenoid. So the purge is gonna be the front door, the vent solenoid is gonna be the back door. Uh, but this system has a little bit more stuff right here and then we have a bypass. So you uh, see these in Toyotas as well. And that basically tests out the canister side and then once the bypass is turned on, it can test out the whole system. The fuel tank pressure sensor is right here as well. So we have all our sensors uh, uh, all connected in, in this area. We have a two-way valve that's connected to the bypass valve right here. Uh, and actually I already got this fixed up, but I really do want to show you the operations on how I figured this out. And to use this, I did use my Altel Maxisys. And uh, we completely turned on all the sensors all the solenoids right here and uh, we could actually test out both systems so what I used was a little pump and what we did by turning on the purge because this is normally uh, normally closed we can hook up our our pump to to this so it can connect to the canister side and as well, the vent solenoid is an uh, open system, so once we, uh, once we turn on the vent solenoid, it closed off, so we're not getting any air out. And then the bypass valve is a closed system, but once it's turned on as well, it opens it up so we can float through everything. Uh, what I can do right now, I'm going to show you real quick, and I have my snap-on right here, and we're going to look at the voltage. We're at 2.5, that's what we want to see, atmospheric pressure. So let me zoom in right there. All right, we're zoomed in all the way, actually. Let's see if I can turn on my light. All right, cool. So right now what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna test just the canister side. And what I'm gonna do right here on the two-way valve that we have all the way in the front right here, one hose is going to the canister that's going to be the bottom side and the top hose so this top hose is going to the hose is going to the canister so what we're going to do we're going to use my altel right here and we're going to turn on all the all the sensors so right here this uh the cvs is the vent side the bps is going to be the bypass and the pcs is going to be the purge valve so like I said we're gonna turn on the purge because it's normally closed so that's gonna allow us to test all those uh, solenoids out as well so this is gonna kill you know like three three birds with one stone it's just gonna verify that we don't have any leaks on the canister side and it's gonna verify that all our sensors are working as well so let's go ahead and do this so let me go ahead and we're gonna first switch this on And I could hear all my cell noise clicking on. And because we're testing out, like I said, we're testing out just the canister side. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hook up our pump and then we're gonna close off the tank side. Our little pliers. So this is just going to verify that our canister side 
we don't have any leaks everything's working solenoids are all good so here we go now we're gonna pump it up gonna start pumping and as you can see our voltage is going down because we're applying vacuum and after that a steady line and that's what we want to see because if we have any anywhere that's open uh, let's just create an open right here I'm gonna create an open up here at the purge let me do a slight little small one like you see that's if there's an open or if you have a leak or something like that. So that that lets us know right now that our canister side is pretty much where uh, it, it's all sealed up. And just to let you know, the fix on the P1456, it was a two-way valve. There's a small little crack. I got the valve right here. And this goes to the fuel tank pressure sensor and there is a small slight little crack and the way i found this out was by hooking up my smoke machine and then to test out the the actual fuel tank side or the whole system you can just release the pliers on the two-way valve right here there's two hoses there's one right here and one down here one goes to the canister so this one goes to the canister and this one goes to the fuel tank so what i did i cut this one uh, i basically put some pliers on there and that just made sure that we just tested out the canister side now we have it open and right now we're going to test out the actual whole system all right i'm gonna make sure that my gas cap is on make sure that we're clicking it all the way we're at 2.5 volts. Yeah, remember, there's not going to be a fully closed system, especially in the gas tank. We're going to have decay. So right now we're at 1.27. Let me try to get under 1 volt. We're under one volt and we're gonna start seeing it going up slowly. Let's check out the voltage. So we, we can see right now we're at 1.78, 1.89. That doesn't that doesn't say that we have a leak. It just right now we're getting we're having decay in the system. We're gonna have a slow movement. But if we have, say, like a leak on the actual tank side, you're going to see it jumping up really quick. So right here is letting us know that, we, uh, that we're good. Now, the issue that we're having back then when the, with the P1456 uh, is that there's a small little crack right here. So it wasn't reading right. The, the fuel tank pressure sensor that we have up there, it basically wasn't getting any, it wasn't even reading at all because it wasn't this wasn't closed we uh there's a little crack there so that was what was causing the issue so as you can see we're still showing 1.3 volts that's really good and what i'm going to do right now i'm going to open up the the gas cap and you're going to see it jump up to about 2.5 so let's go and you can actually hear hear this the little swishing and that lets us know that the system is actually closed and as like I told you we're back at 2.5 volts and there you go I wish I could show you the other process man it was actually pretty cool when I put the smoke machine you could actually see the smoke coming out from there but there you go uh, on this one a lot of people would change out the gas cap they would fill their neck this this and that 
and the crazy thing is that the issue was right here all right so if you do like this video please thumbs up subscribe and share and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out from Oz Mechanics